Hello and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. My name's Jason Newland. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. I hope you're well. And if you'd like to support this free service, and please go to paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland. Now... I had my chair delivered. I did. I had my brand new recliner chair delivered. Delivered, delivered, delivered. So, the two men delivering it actually brought it into the flat for me, which was nice of them. And then they left. I unpacked it. So it wasn't in a box. Like the the recliner that I bought. Or the one that I'm sitting in now actually. The squeaky one. That was in a big box. This wasn't. This was in a bit of cardboard. And also sort of like plastic wrapping. So it took me a little while to un, you know, to unwrap the thing, and then I moved the old chair out of the way and put the new one where I wanted it to be. It looked fine. I sat in it. Just I didn't sit back, but just sat in it, and. Yeah, it seemed fine. So I just thought, oh, okay. So I started to get rid of all the packaging because uh, it's a lot of packaging. Just so I got rid of it all, destroyed it all, you know, got rid of it all, ripped it all up and stuff. And then. As a little treat, I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit in my new chair, which is what I did. I sat down. It's a little smaller than this one, wide, you know, um, wide wise. So um, it's a little bit more. And length fire wise as well, actually, I'd say. But it's, it seemed more comfortable. More padded for my big bum. And I thought, oh, I'm now going to pull the little lever on the side and uh, push back. We'll see what happens. So <clears throat> I pushed, pulled the lever, the lever on the right hand side and the... The what's it at the front of the chair? <laughs> I don't know what you would call it. The <laughs> the landing strip. <laughs> I don't know. Still got a bit of a cough. Anyway, it came up, and the back went back a little bit, and I kind of just leaned on the back, and it went back further. And further and further. So I thought, oh, that's a bit far, a bit far back. So I pushed down on the, the the landing strip thing at the front in order to turn it back into a normal chair. Which it did, but the back was still flat. And I couldn't understand it. So I pushed the, the back up. And. I sat in it normally. Just to see you know if the, if the back would stay up. And it didn't. The, fat, the back just kept going down. And I'm like what's going on. 
and I couldn't figure it out. It looked fine. Couldn't see anything wrong with it. I looked at it, couldn't see any reason why it would be doing that. And I thought maybe it's loose, got a loose bracket or something. Because it came in all, all in one piece. That, that this one, the original one, had was in two pieces. The back rest came separate. It got delivered at the same time. But it came, you know, so that um, I just had to attach it, which was easy enough to do. Just took a bit of screwing and it was done. Well, anyway, here we go. I think, what's going on? So I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll just tip it over and have a look. Maybe it needs tightening up the brackets or whatever maybe it's just become loose or maybe it's but you know it comes like that so I turned it on its side on its front and there's a flap a flappy bit at the back which is also on this chair it's well, not the same flap but a different flap that's on the new chair and and I open up trying to see the <clears throat> the bracket or the connection, you know, between where the the backrest goes in. I didn't see that, but what I did see was wood all split at the back of the chair. Really badly split on the right side and also split on the left side as well. So basically the backrest support was broken on both sides. So, I could not believe it. Could not believe it at all. Very surprised. Not particularly entertained by that. So... I wasn't sure if there's something that could be done, you know, was there a way of fixing it or, you know, so I called, got my friend to have a look at it and he said, no, it's broken, you know, he needs to send it back, so I phoned him up, I phoned up the catalogue, I gave you a big list of places, you know, numbers, uh, press one for this, press two for that, press four for this, Press 9 if you want to shake your foot for no reason. You know, random numbers. And they didn't have one. They had one for returns. But I thought they'd have one for, like, damage or complaints. So that's what I wanted to do. Because I've never returned anything before like that. Although there was once where I had a laptop from Amazon and... It broke after a couple of days and I sent it back. And they were really good. They came and got another one. They, they gave me another one. They replaced it really quickly. So that, that was really cool. But I don't know what this is going to be like because it took about a week to get it delivered, this chair. So I, I filled in a form online and I said, Excuse me, but however, blah 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 blah. blah. I said the chair was delivered today. The chair that was delivered today ain't working. The chair that was delivered today that ain't working needs picking up and taking away because it's damaged. And I also put in there that I do not want a replacement because I'm not happy with the service. I don't want to, I don't, no, don't like that. I don't, it's, it costs a £258 and it was on special offer. And, you know, I don't have to pay it off and I'll pay it off over next year or so. Um, but, 
I do end up paying interest on that. But I actually put extra money into the account in order to pay for this thing. I'll put an extra 50 odd pound in. And I thought, oh. Uh. You know? So I'm just waiting to hear from them. And I put down, I ain't got no packaging because when I got it, it looked fine from the outside and I got rid of the packaging. I was not aware that I needed to look internally into the internals of the chair. I assumed that it would work. Plus, it's not like they gave me a box. I wouldn't know how to pack it back the way they had it packed. It was just bits of cardboard stuck together and then bits of other fabric. I wouldn't know how to, you know. So they're just going to have to take it the way it is. And hence the reason I'm back here sitting in my chair. The old squeaky chair. And it looks like this is going to be the chair I'm going to stay in for a while. And it's okay. It's squeaky, but you know, it's alright actually. It's... Yeah, it's alright. I just have to make do of it. I don't want to go through this again. Waiting for ages. Waiting in all day. I waited in all day today. And then they were about an hour late getting here. Well, no, half hour. I don't know. But they were late. But they said they were going to deliver between... seven and six or something I don't know I think so but the people delivering it were lovely they were you know they were very friendly and were helpful and everything but I guess the for my the, the chair got damaged in the warehouse or something because you wouldn't have known it because it was internal it's like a, an internal injury kind of thing would not know by looking at it that it had anything wrong with it and uh, so yeah so hopefully I've got to wait in for someone to come and pick it up so I don't know when they're going to come or who's going to come and so I'm probably going to give them a phone call tomorrow and just explain the situation <coughs> excuse me coughing all the time um, but that's it that's the story of that which brings me on to this I've been wanting to do this for a while and I got this book And, oh come on, there it is. The Language of London, Cockney Rhyming Slang by Daniel Smith. So I'm going to dip into it. And I thought it might have some stuff in there that I could uh, read out to you. But okay, here we go. <clears throat> so those that don't know, there's a thing in London, or there used to be a thing in London. It's not like that anymore, really. But some people try and keep it alive. But it's it's a it's a dead language, really. It's a 
used to be like rhyming slang, like like pork pies, eyes, uh, boat race, face. So it's there's no real logic to it. And the rhyming slang is longer than the actual word it's rep- <laughs> it's representing. So that that never really made sense to me. But um, so here's the first one: a rabbit and pork. Talk. <laughs> so that's that's one. Uh, what's the next one? Baker's dozen cousin. So I went to my baker's dozen's wedding the other day. So that that kind of doesn't really make sense, but there you go. <laughs> but okay, this one. Basin of gravy, baby. <laughs> I've never ever heard of that one before. The next one, bottle of porter, <laughs> daughter. <laughs> Silly. kind of ridiculous really um, cow and kisses missus as in the wife see see if you can guess what the next one's going to be current bun son yep son current bun son See if you can guess the next one. God forbid. (laughs) Kid. God forbid. Kid. Never heard of that one before. So. God lover. Mother. Here's another one. Jack Spratt. Brat. Apparently this is a reference to the subject of the English nursery rhyme who followed a non-fat diet and had a plump wife. (laughs) Don't remember that. Jam tart. Sweetheart. So I wonder where that word tart came from. They just cut it down from jam tart to tart. And that's kind of a derogatory. Calling a a woman a tart. But a jam tart. Sweetheart. (laughs) Here's another one. I've never heard used. Light of my life. Wife. Another version of that would be trouble and strife. Wife. Oh, we're going back to family members again. Manhole cover. Brother. Mother of Pearl. Old girl. Mother's pride. Bride. See this, I've never heard either. 
old pot and pan. Old man. Pal mal. Gal. Pride and joy. Boy. Wow. Oh, is he the the opposite to boy? Ribbon and curl. Girl. I'm still staying with family. <laughs> and this is a weird one. <clears throat> Skin and blister. Sister. And then there's another family member. Soap and lather. Father. Another one for family member. Soap and water. Daughter. Wow. So these are some of the more classic ones, I think. China plates. Mates. Brussels sprout. Boy scout. Now I know this one. Bubble bath. Laugh. See, people don't say it now. They say you're having a bubble. So you're having a laugh. You're having a bubble. But they don't say the bubble. They don't say bath. You're having a bubble bath. Laugh. That's the rhyming bit. The bath bit. Now, those that hold on to the these old uh, style of talking would say, you're having a bubble. Which doesn't make sense because it doesn't rhyme. I'm having what trouble? Apple crumble? I'm a what? There you go. So, what other ones? I've not seen this before. Bushel of coke. Bloke. Bushy park. Lark. Ah. Harbour light, right. I'll use as in all right. Harbour light, ah. <laughs> lemon squeezer, geezer. He's a proper proper lemon squeezer. He is. My mile end friend Blimey. So I know this one on your Jack Jones on your own So that's just way longer than the actual word itself. It doesn't make there's no, there's no logic to this. Queen's Park Ranger. Stranger. Savaloy. Boy. I used to have a friend who used to shout out. Oi, oi, Savaloy. Never did know why. I was a bit too scared to ask, unless. Well, in case you told me. Me. Me, 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 me. It's 
to have a look what other ones. Gates of Rome. Home. I can't wait to get back to the cat and mouse. House. Oh, my knees get tired when I go up the apples and pears. Stairs. I spent uh, most of my adult life being an artful dodger. Lodger. So, I like to, I like to have Bob Hope, yeah I like to rub my bum with Bob Hope, soap. I like to clean with the bride and groom. Broom, broom. Sometimes I like to lay naked on Cain and Abel. Table. <laughs> oh dear. This is one that's just, this is based on a footballer that played football in the 1880s. Charlie Mason, Basin. Never heard that one before. So this one's very popular. Well, it's very well known. And again, it's got often um, shortened. So, you know, contact me on the dog and bone telephone. Now it's more likely contact me on the dog. Although, I don't think uh, do people phone each other anymore. I'm not sure. When I was an artful dodger, I used to have to weekly pay my Duke of Kent rent. When I was uh, an artful dodger, I used to sometimes lay, lay in bed, staring at the funny feeling ceiling. and sit in the hat and scarf bath and I'd look, I'd look down at <laughs> and actually I did lock myself out because I lost my knobbly knee key When I'm in the uh, so when I'm having a bath, 
Oh, and one of my Evanna Hot Hearts hat and scarf. Sometimes uh, I lose the little brown jug plug. I remember being at school and always hearing the every every hour you'd hear the little knell bell. I like to keep all my cool stuff in the London Bridge fridge. This country used to produce, deduce, we used to produce a lot of the merry old soul coal. A lot of the stuff that I microwave, I get out of the Mona Lisa freezer. Again, another Percy Thrower blower. That's another name for a telephone. And he was a TV star in the. Blue Peter or something, I don't know. I really need to clean the Richard Burton's curtains. don't get this so I've had quite a few jobs as a semolina cleaner and I used to have to clean quite a few shovel and brooms rooms When I lived in London, I quite like used to um, sit down in Trafalgar Square chair. When I get tired, I go to the Uncle Ned bed. Well, <laughs> I lie down on Uncle Ned. And then I just like to lie down and rest my head on the weeping willow pillow I've only ever once received uh, as a gift for some, from anyone April showers flowers only happened once, I think. I got um went out on a date with a lady back in two thousand and she bought me roses. They tasted lovely. No, they actually they were flowers. Mm, so look. Lord Lovell Shovel So a lot of these um, uh, Would you say it's rhyming slang Rhyming yeah It seems to be based on old books Because it's all old stuff It's not You know like 
old iron and brass. Grass. Uncles and aunts. Plants. It's kind of... Uh, when you actually when you actually look at it and you read it out it seems almost ridiculous so here's a tooting means food huh. Lillian Gish Fish. People have not heard of. I mean, Bre Bessie Braddock. <laughs> Haddock. And that's based on a post war Labour MP. Oh, this is cool. It says based on a post war Labour MP for Liverpool. Whose waistline, some cruelly noted, suggested a penchant for a good fish supper. <laughs> oh dear. Colonel Blimp. Shrimp. Again, this is based on some 1930s cartoon. Jack the Ripper Kipper <laughs> It's like Yeah Okay Going to the supermarket Can you tell me where the Jack the Rippers are please Jane Russell's Muscles A tribute to the screen goddess That manages to link The image of seashells And bra cups I don't see how a, a muscle looks anything like a bosom or a bra cup. But Jane Russell's muscles, as in the fish. Well, not it's not fish, is it? They're like sea slugs, really, aren't they? Or sea... Um, Not slugs. What are the slugs inside a shell? Is it a tortoise? No, it's not a tortoise. There's no such thing as a tortoise. Tortoise? Tortoise doesn't exist. Tortoise. That's what it's called. Oh, it's a bit rude. I pronounce it tortoise. Yeah, but you're wrong though, aren't you? No. Richard Todd Cod. Tommy Steele's eels. So Tommy Steele was a huge star in the 50s. Huge star. See, this doesn't make any sense. Okay, the first bit, hands and feet meet. It rhymes, but that's it. What's for dinner, Mum? Hands and feet. And some veg. So I've never heard of this one. Bags of mystery. Sausages. How? What? Bags of mystery. It's kind of, I think it's the idea is what's in the sausage? It's a mystery. Bubbly jock turkey. (sighs) 
We're not having turkey for dinner this Christmas. We're going to have Charlie Dickin. <laughs> Chicken. Oh dear. And maybe if we don't have enough to buy any food, we'll have some bread and Dr. Crippen. Crippen. That's all my nan said. All we ever had was dripping, bread and dripping, bread and dripping all the time. And I thought, oh, that sounds horrible. But actually, I'd, she used to give it to us for dinner. <laughs> she used to, she still was, she was still eating it in the nineties. <laughs> and uh, used to try and uh, go around, try and catch her when she'd already eaten. <laughs> yeah, be just they'd be dripping everywhere, all on the floor. Slipping over in it. Um, I don't know why I'm saying this. It's not true. Duchess of York. Pork. Which isn't. Who's the Duke of York? Who was the Duchess of York? Was that Fergie? <laughs> ah. Which means the Dutch, the, the Duke of York is Prince Andrew. The famous Prince Andrew. Itchy teeth. Beef. Teeth, beef. No, it's not teeth. It's teeth. F f f. Beef. F f f. So I don't know this one. Kate and Sydney. Steak and kidney. No, I think we used to say that. I'm sure we used to say snake and kidney when we was kids. Well, I'll probably just say it. I used to say, it's like, steak and kidney pie, that's what we're having for dinner tonight. And my brother would say, you mean Kate and Sydney? And my brother said, no, Kate and Tigney, Tigney. And they'd look at me and I'd say, I hate steak and kidney pie. I like beef pie. I like chicken pie. I don't like steak and kidney pie. I'm not prepared to do any puns I'm not prepared to turn this into some kind of a comedy act between you know the family when we're having steak and kidney pie and I don't like it you know I don't like it yet you continue to torment me by serving up this drivel this steak and kidney abomination to my plate and uh, I used to get sent to my room after that without any dinner which kind of wasn't really a punishment was it punishment would have been to sit and eat the dinner that's it for your punishment you've got to go upstairs where all your toys are and stay in your room where all the things that you enjoy playing with are Okay, see ya. Trolley and tram. Ham. Okay. Uncle Sam. Again, that could have been ham, couldn't it? But no, it's lamb. What we got with our with our lunch? We've got, we've got what we've got with our Uncle Sam. We've got Uncle Reg as well. Uncle Reg? Veg. Oh, okay. Well, that, that just smells Billy Cotton. 
rotten. <laughs> See this. No. Mum, can I have corns and bunions on my on my burger, please? Corns and bunions? Onions. Mind you, corns and bunions in the steak and kidney pie, not onions, but actual corns and bunions would have made it taste better. Kings and queens, beans. Kings and beans make me fart. People complain about farting. But let's face it, if we didn't fart, we would explode. Or at the very least, float away. So it's this corns and bunions, onions. Navigator, potato. What else we got on a dinner plate today? Oh, we got some poly parrots. Carrots. Why didn't you just say carrots? Uh, just say carrots. Why do you have to make these silly names up? Just say the word. I mean, is it that difficult? I don't know. Um, but the main thing is, you know, you're, you need to eat up your Woolwich and Greenwich. What? Spinach. Again, what are you doing that again for? And you use and mess. Use and mees. Use and mees. Peas. What? So, did you find the apples and rice? Did you find your dinner apples and rice? What? Nice. Anyone, anyone for more army and navy? Army and navy? There's not enough chairs. No gravy. You know, I could really, really do with a borrow and beg. What? An egg. Oh dear, I don't want anything, just, I need just, can I just please have a bowl, a bowl of the hoop? Soup. And maybe a bit of bread with some uh, cough and splutter. Butter. Co cough and splutter. Butter. That almost gives a horrible visual image, doesn't it? like butter being <laughs> some coughing onto some bread and spluttering and they're like oh that looks like butter that'll do so Duke of York fork that was a Duke of York he had 10,000 men, but it really didn't help him at all. I mean, he got caught and got pictured doing things. Na -na 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 -na. He wasn't allowed back in America in case he got arrested. Harry, uh... Please, darling, please pass over the high stepper. Pepper. Oh, I really do some nice, nice bit of holy ghost. Toast. See, this one I know, but it's been changed lately. Lee Marvin, Starvin. But recently there's been an advert and they're calling, they're saying Hank Marvin. I mean, you're Hank Marvin, Starvin. Advertising some foodie stuff. See, this is the next one, is one that I've heard for years and years and years. 
I, ne I never knew, never, 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 never knew where it came from. Didn't even know what it was, because it don't rhyme. Well, it didn't, but it does if you say the whole thing. Ruby Murray Curry. But no one calls it a Murray. They don't just say Ruby. I could do a Ruby. And people generally know what that means. Sort of in London and stuff. It's like Cockney rhyme for curry. But it doesn't rhyme with curry, does it, Ruby? But no one seems to worry about that. It's after an Irish singer called um, Oh Ruby Murray. Apparently Curry being Oh right, yeah. Slap and tickle. Pickle. We used to slap sell slap and tickles in the chip shop I worked in. But it's a brothel, but you know. Um oh. Past the squad halt. Never heard that before. Squad halt. Salt. And there's another one. Oh, I need some. I like to have yellow silk on my breakfast. Yellow silk. Milk. And that's quite nice, yellow, silk, silky. I'm going to just have a quick tiddlywink here. Drink. Can you imagine going through your life talking like this all the time? Passes the dog and pup. Cup. I'd love a cup of Everton toffee. Coffee. Don't suppose I could get a glass of fisherman's daughter. Water. I'll stick on the uh, Hansel and Gretel. Kettle. See this one, Rosie Lee T. So I know this one. But again, I think some people say, Oh, star could do you do a cover, Rosie? Oh, yes. Let's have a look what we got. Lord Maring. Swearing. So let's see. Okay, some of these are a bit rude, so I'll be have to barge and tug. Mug. Berkeley Hunt. No, I can't read that one. Brandy butter. No, I can't read that one either. Cobbler's... <laughs> Cobbler's Alls. No, I can't read them. You're s such a crown and anchor. Ooh, no, I can't read that either. Doris Day. No, I can't read that. Edna May. On your way. Elephant and Castle. Ah, oh, no. Ginger Beer. No, I'm not reading that one. Haddock and Cod. Sod. Iron Hoof. P no, I'm not reading that. Keith Moon. Loon. King Dick Thick 
lump and bump, chump, marbles and conkers, bonkers, Miss Fitch, a bit, no, 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 a pheasant plucker, you probably guess what some of these are, um, but they shan't say it, Piccadilly, silly, it's a bit too close to silly, isn't it, Piccadilly, because if you take the D and put the S in, change the D for the S. It'd be pick a silly. Which, yeah, I believe it's silly. Eh. Pony and trap. Crap. I've got to go for a tone. Got to go for a pony and trap. Oh. Damn it. My uh, Kindle just turned itself off. Radio Rental. Okay. I can't remember that. That's a rally bike. Nope. Can't read that. Rock and Row. Cow. Hmm. Salvation Army. Barmy. Sharp as Tool. Fool. Tickle your fancy. Nancy. Oh, that's, that is, oh. I didn't realise what I was reading there. So that's, that's, uh, it's not a good word. I was thinking of it as being like a woman's name until I read it. I was like, oh, okay. So I scrapped that one. Top Hat Pratt. Tried to miss out any of the naughty words. One got through. Night and day play. Stop being such a Captain Morgan. Organ. <coughs> you was such a Charles Brown. Such a Charlie Brown. Clown. Let's have a ding dong. Shong. Let's go and watch a movie at the Fleas and Itches. The pictures. See, I used to play the Hey Diddle Diddle. Fiddle. So like jacket and vest West Joanna uh -huh. Piano No, that doesn't make sense to me. Would you like to kick and prance? Dance. Nope. Or perhaps you'd like to come up on stage with me and mangle and, s mangle and ring. Sing. Or perhaps you'd like to come round mine and watch the Roger Melly Telly. Let's see. See this one I know. Rubber Dub, the pub. Pickle and choose booze a 
Amos and Andy Brandy Andy Pandy Shandy Brahms and Lists Appear Drunk Bright and Frisky Whisker I like to drink Britney Spears I like to have Britney Spears in my mouth Britney Spears Beers Cur Curtain Cakes The Shakes I'm so elephant's trunk Drunk Philharmonic Tonic Oh dear Runner and Rider Cider Sugar and Spice Cuts and scratches Matches Virulin Skin Got any Vera's? Aristotle Bottle Barney Rubble Treble Bull and Cow Row Stop being a Frankie Howard Coward I don't know if I like that half ouncer. Bouncer. I hate his Newton butts. Guts. So look Let's see all other ones Billy Bunter Punter Charles Dance Chance See this is all gambling stuff so I'll move through that. Typewriter, fighter, as in a boxer. Hmm. Limbrook Crook Cornflake Fake Half inch Pinch Hey diddle diddle Fiddle We've done that haven't we Holy Friar Oh ah, yeah Yeah 
Johnny Walker, talker. Brass tacks, facts. So I suppose if you're going to use this kind of language in order to talk secretly with a kind of code with other people then no one else can ever know about it other than you and the people you're communicating with. Otherwise, it doesn't work, does it? Hmm. I'm 41% through the book, but I'm going to stop now. Because... It's time to end the recording. <sighs> so thank you very much for listening. I hope you've been as bored as I have. And I'll speak to you really soon. Remember to be kind to yourself. Because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love.